I, it's like, it's very obvious that like, I'm not, I'm too tall. What if I just film like this the entire, hey, hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> and action. I feel like Steven, Steven Steelder, Gerg. Steven Steelder. Steven, Steve, Steven Steelger. Welcome to my ugly corner. Oh. No. I was gonna use a mic, but no. I, I don't wanna get it now. So this is the best we're gonna get. <laughs> so this is the corner of my room where the magic happens. Um. I'm sick. I'm sick right now. I've been sick for like almost a week now. I've literally spent the last week in bed. I wasn't honestly that sick. Like I was not sick enough to have been acting the way that I was acting. I really took advantage of it though. Honestly, I'm moving in a few months again. I moved into here in November, which is why I just kind of threw my books on this ledge, which I'm so happy about because I didn't have to buy a book like shelf but it's also because in a few months i do plan on escaping i do plan on fleeing i'm not kidding this is the year that i flee and i'm never seen ever again and i'm, I'm very serious about that i'm very very serious about that so I, I i just didn't ever invest in a bookshelf so this has been my this is it i'm gonna go through my entire book bu physical book collection. I thought that could be fun. <laughs> I don't know. But I also want to organize it. As you can see here from like my last video, these are all the books that I got and I just kind of threw them here. As you can see here too, like my second to last video, still have not put this away. I don't know how to do this. I'm also probably going to get rid of some things like this. This will be the first one. Let me move this because I would have got this from the library, but it would have taken months because of how many holds there were. So I just decided to just buy it and then I would sell it for like half the price. So if you want this, buy it because I, I already read it. I, I finished it a while ago and I loved it. So good. What else? Maybe we can clean it out first. Oh, this. I read this from my book club. I'm in a very... <laughs> Stop! Stop! I'm okay. I'm in a very exclusive book club. It's like me and like my two friends, and I've I've said it before. It's like President Joe Biden, Dua Lipa, the Dalai Lama, just a whole cast of characters. I'm not actually supposed to talk about it at all because I could get executed for even mentioning it. But we read this last month, The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. Such a horrendous cover, but actually a good book. There was some stuff that didn't make sense. If you read this, were those her parents? And why did she go to the cabin and say that that was her home? And there was proof that it was her home. But then later she goes to like, just like a, a little place in the woods with a whole bunch of traps and stuff and says, this is actually my house. It did, so, uh, some of the things didn't make sense. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this too. Never read it, but I need to get rid of it so bad. Oh my gosh. Uh, oof. I'm gonna feel that in the morning, damn. The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. I got this years ago, don't know why, but it just sat on my bookshelf, rotted, and I don't think I'm gonna ever read it. And I think if I did read it, I would not like it. It's just not worth my time at this point. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh shit, I should do a before and after. Hmm. Let me just put those back. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh, ooh. This is before. As you can see, like, the genres, like, nonfiction, fiction, about, apparently it's about incest. Ooh. Historical fiction, just like, not making sense.
And then this I got from Urban Outfitters a long time ago. When it comes spring, I want to put uh, like a plant here that maybe can like dangle or something. I think I'm not going to do that because as I said before, I'm fleeing this year. So what's the point of buying a plant if it's just gonna die? Now we can get back to work. <laughs> this shit is a mess. Sorry. But what do you expect? I'm such a crackhead. <laughs> I'm so chaotic like that. Mm. I should also say that the majority of these books I haven't read. Um, and that's not in like a book talk. <laughs> go away. Go away. Like I'm I'm talking shit about you right now. Go for like book talk, like overconsumption. Like I'm just gonna buy as many books as possible and not read them. I did that in the past, but I just got rid of a ton of books. Tons of books that I had read. So I'm left with these books. Um, Tenders the Flesh, Cannibalism, Dystopian, so good. So, like, okay, tell me why my Goodreads review for this is low-key viral as fuck. <laughs> I read the entire thing in one sitting in Starbies <laughs> with my frap and nearly threw that frap right back up. Not kidding. So this is like a thriller. That's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna section it off. It's like thriller, horror. Let me put that on the ground. This is S, a novel about the Balkans by Slavenka Drakulik. I probably said that wrong. I've talked about this book a ton, but it's so good and so, so sad about war. Um, the Shadow of the Wind, I love, and I've talked about it a ton. This is like historical fiction, but also fantasy. But I think it's more historical fiction. Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Everest. So I read this as an ebook last summer, and I found this at Value Village recently, and I was gonna give it to my friend, but then they flew the country, like I'm gonna do in a few months. So I wasn't able to give it to them, but it's incredible. Oh, this was, <laughs> the reason I have this, The Innocence by Michael Crummy. It's set in like the 1400s in Newfoundland, and then like this brother and sister, I guess, do incest, and the cover of incredible. Oh, here's some nonfiction. This book I've had for forever. The movie's coming out this year. I've had this book for years. Killers of the Flower Moon. I don't know what it's about. I really don't. I don't even know why I have it. I think I bought it thinking that it was like historical fiction or something, but then I opened it up and there was like photos of real people and I was like, what the fuck? But I think I'm going to read this very soon, especially with the movie coming out. I have to be on... I have to keep some bitches on their toes when I go into that movie theater and I leave and I say It like paled in comparison to the book Yeah, I read the book And then I have my two Carmen Maria Machados so This is her short story collection and then this is her memoir in the dream house. She needs to write <laughs> Anybody know if she's gonna write another book? I'm gonna keep them together though because it's by the same author But I don't know what like genre to put them in because they're two different genres I can put them anywhere. The Machado, the, the Machado genre. I have three memoirs here. So let's just go through them all. Wait, this one isn't real. <laughs> Supposedly this isn't real, but it's written like a memoir. It, it's just like, it's a memoir propaganda. I don't know, is that? I don't know. And the majority of people who I hear talk about it always say that it's a memoir, but I don't think it is. But I'm gonna just treat it like one. <laughs> But well, this is On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. Then I have Wild by Cheryl Strayed, but a girl, but a girl who goes on a hike changes her life. And then I have Educated by Tara Westover, which I recently read. This is a lot of work. I just, it's like, it's like 11 at night. Damn. Okay, historical fiction, A Thousand Splendid Sons. I haven't read it. And then this is like a comedy. It's written like a, like a screenplay script. You see that? You can't. Uh, you obviously can't. Interior Chinatown, I still haven't read it. I've had it for a few months, but I'll get to it. <laughs> I'll get to it this year. I don't know where to put it though. I guess just like literary fiction. I haven't read this either, but less. This is also like funny, but it's not written like a script. So those will go together. Oh, here's nonfiction. I haven't read it. <laughs> Eating animals. It's about like veganism. So it's like about a man. I think it might be a memoir kind of. Wait. Yeah, 
it's a memoir, but it's just about his relationship with food and like becoming a vegan or a vegetarian. And I think what scares me is that it's gonna force me to do that. And like, I don't want to, I like chicken. I haven't eaten red meat, if you can tell by my complexion and my like body. I haven't eaten red meat in a very long time, years. And I did that with the intention of going fully vegetarian, but I just have not cut out <laughs> the chicken or like turkey or fish. And I don't know if I'm ever going to. This is the overstory. I think that this is kind of another literary fiction. It's about trees, I haven't read it. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a murder mystery. And I have another one of his books here that I should put them together. Oh gosh. Wait, why do I believe in me right now? <laughs> By Eric Larson, I have The Devil in the White City, which is about Jack the Ripper, and Dead Wake, but which is about the sinking of a ship. Lusitania. I think what he does is he takes like real things that happened and creates like a fictional story around them. And I need to read some of his shit, but I just, I, I don't care. Like, I don't know. And then from the last two in the pile here, tomorrow and 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 tomorrow. And if you don't say all the tomorrows, you a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a mood, I'm really hot. Yeah, this is about like two people, a man and a woman. Sam and Sadie. Uh, they're like friends and then they create a video game and then they like come back together in the future. It's super popular, super, super popular. I haven't read it yet. And then this one is Empire of Pain, which is about the Sackler family. So interesting. They created, what is it per? Yeah, Purdue Pharma, which they created the opioid epidemic by pushing the sale and distribution of OxyContin. So it's just about their um, very impactful and not evil at all lives. But that's nonfiction and that's just literary fiction. Honestly, I'll be real with you. Like I know that I, I have this whole channel. I don't know what literary fiction is. And then let me put this writing sweetgrass with the nonfiction. This, I think, would be a good one to put with Carmen Maria Machado's stuff. They can't kill us until they kill us. Let me... Okay, if you want to know more about these books, I just made a video about all of them. Just did it. So just watch it after, or don't. But I'm gonna quickly go through and just... Do it. I think because they're personal essays, I'm gonna put it with Carmen Maria Machado stuff. And also because it's like... Cool. I don't know. This is nonfiction. This is literary, like, wait, totally literary fiction. This is like fantasy. So. I'll put this with my Murakamis when I get to that. A memoir. Which? Oh, here. <laughs> this is literary fiction. Um, so is this, I think. This is poetry. This is literary fiction. What is that? I still don't know what that is. Can someone tell me what that is? Is that just fiction? Um, yeah. And then, I don't know where the- uh, Ooh, I should correct myself. In my last video where I talked about this, I totally called him Khalil Gibran. He like, a, I got tons of comments about him. I had no clue that he was so popular, but somebody did comment and they were like, I love how you give, give no fucks and just say his name all fucked up. And I was like, I, I care. Although I, I believe it's pronounced Khalil Gibran, which I'm making connections, but I don't know what they are. Khalil Abdul Gibran, is that him? No, that's Khalil Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> Fuck, um, who is that? Who is that? I think that this is just fiction. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, 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 next pile. This is my dad's. Zombies. I don't know. And I have my two Murakamis that I own, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle and Kafka on the Shore, which I recently read. This one I have not yet read. And I'm gonna put this with the hole. 
Okay, let me get my Stephen Kings now. So I have Misery by Stephen King, which I I read when I was a teenager. Thriller, obviously, obviously. <laughs> um, the Institute by Stephen King, I haven't read, but I really want to. The premise sounds so good. It's about like a, I don't know, superhuman kids who get taken away and put on a train and they're like tested on. And then this desperation, like, I'm just, like, the cover is... I feel like I could probably sell this on eBay for a lot of money because I think this was my parents in the 90s. And for some reason, I have it. Okay, this is definitely just fiction. Jeffrey Eugenides, <laughs> Middlesex, and The Virgin Suicides. I watched the movie. I, wa I love the movie for The Virgin Suicides. I'd love to read the book. This, I really, I don't know. I really want to read this. My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I think I might hate it. <laughs> I could love it. It's just like a slasher. This I want to get rid of. I've never read it. And I don't think I'll... <sighs> pending. Pending. Snow by Oran Pamuk. It's coming. One day I'm going to read this book. <laughs> he won the Nobel Prize. Ooh. Ew, what the fuck is that? He won the Nobel Prize in Literature. He's Turkish, too. I, I, this, I remember I, a while ago, I knew the word for snow in Turkish. Is it Kai? K-Y-E-E, -E. fuck. Oh, Ka! <laughs> oh my god, I was so close. The word for snow in Turkish is Ka, so. I'm better than you, because I knew that and you didn't. That might not even be right. And then I have here two gay slave books, I think. I think they're both about slaves that escape and then fall in love with each other. Or they fall in love with each other and then they escape. The Sweetness of Water and The Prophet. Clearly I haven't read either of them, um, but they're historical fiction, I'd say. And then this is my mom's, I think. The Poisonwood Bible. I think that this is set in the Congo and that's all I really know about it. <laughs> this book is so stupid. Look at the look at this. And tell me this doesn't say and Nicholas Alexandra. I got really like into I don't know like Russian history or I wanted to like the SARS like the little boy with the hemophilia and Rasputin and then this is about them I think so tragic what happened to them honestly I don't remember what happened to them but I feel like it was tragic. Were they bad people? I don't know. Here I have a sci-fi book. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Which is Blade Runner. It's just Blade Runner. For some weird reason, like the studio that adapted this into Blade Runner, they wouldn't keep this name. They would. They refused to keep the name Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which is such a good name. Like, doesn't it sound like such a sellable and profitable name? And then I have Cersei, like Madeline Miller's other book. She wrote The Song of Achilles, which I read and I didn't. I didn't like it that much. I wasn't that into it. Although this one is about Cersei. I haven't read it. Had it for a very, very, very long time. One day I'll get to it though, I feel like. I don't know where this goes. Historical fiction. <laughs> and then on the very bottom of the pile, we have The Three Body Problem by Si Shin Lu. I'm gonna get to this very soon. It's coming. Listen, it's coming. It's the first book in an incredible, supposedly, I haven't read it, sci-fi series. I just have this to do, this is left to do. It's all like pretty much organized already, but quickly I thought I would just go through it just to finish off the video. <laughs> so this, I wanna start off with this because this is a new book that I got recently. Um, it's for like a video I think that I'm gonna do. Um, although it's kind of a daunting video, so I haven't, it, mm. The Slanks by Tatiana Tolstoya, Tol Tolst Tolstaya, Tolstaya. She's like the granddaughter of Leo Tolstoy. Someone needs to tell me immediately. In Russian, like, do they change the last name of women? Women, do 
to like add an A to make it like make it make it feminine. Someone needs to tell me that because that's hilarious in my opinion and like really weird. What I have here is I have classics and then I have favorites. Is that what that is? I think that I have like favorites over here. Let me put it with her grandpappy beside Anna Karenina. Oops. Okay. This is the only play I have. I wanted to get into plays more, but I'm just like not... I have zero motivation to do anything. And then I have Don Quixote. By, I always forget how to say his name, so I'm just not going to, because I don't want to embarrass myself. The Brothers Karamot... Car the Brothers Karamot... Car... The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. Crime and Punishment by Di Do mm, Yeah. Anna Karenina. I really like this cover. And then I got this book for Christmas recently. The Master and Margarita, which is like a, a recent Russian classic, I think. And then I have 100 Years of Solitude, which I recently got from Value Village. I'm working on a little book club right now, and I'm thinking that this could be our first book we read. It's pretty short. It's not... It's like 400 pages, and I feel like a lot of people haven't read it, so look out for that, you pieces of shit. <laughs> Persuasion by Jane Austen, Emma by Jane Austen, which is like my favorite Jane Austen, except I think the only other Jane Austen I've read is Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> which I didn't really like that much. And then I have Frankenstein, The Phantom of the Opera, Wuthering Heights, which I love the cover of this too. These penguin ones are usually pretty boring, I feel like, but this one is so like... Ugh, I want that on my wall. <laughs> this is another cover that I love so much. The picture of Dorian Gray. One flew over cloud cuckoo land. And then I have two James Baldwin. One I've read. I've read G. Giovanni's Room. And then I have yet to read Go Tell It On A Man. I think it was called. Yeah. Go tell it on the mound. And they have Lolita, which I recently read. I didn't. Like, I read it in, like, October. And this I haven't read. Lord of the Flies, but I'd like to. I think I got this from Value Village, which is why it's so beat up. But that's a cool cover. You, like, the boar? Is that a boar? Pig? I don't know. I don't know anything. And I have The Razor's Edge by Somerset Mom, which I think could also be a really fun book club book for my book club coming soon. And I have Anne Frank's Diary, which I really need to read. I, I feel like a horrible person that I haven't read that book, but I've had it for so long. Beloved by Toni Morrison, which I've read. And then Song of Solomon, also by Toni Morrison, which I have yet to read. Ooh, this could also be a fun book club. Like, summer? Summer book club, anyone? July? August? July? Uh, ooh, June would be a good one. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. It's a, it's a thick one, but I think we could do it. <laughs> the Idiot and Either Or by Alif Batuman. I have two Donna Tarts. Again, only one of them I've read. The Secret History I've read in love, but this motherfucker I've yet to read. The Goldfinch. Even though I've had this for years, I've not read it. <laughs> and this one I had. And then I have two Hanya Yanagihara's The Little Life and her newest book, To Paradise, which I found recently at Value Village. But I haven't read this one yet. It's too long. And honestly, I feel like the reviews on it aren't that great. So, I don't know. Here's a memoir. The Glass Castle. Which I'm gonna put with my other memoirs, so. And then I have my one other poetry collection. Dream Work by Mary Oliver. I'm gonna put this with The Carrying. <laughs> Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Whatever. Eve Babbitts. The LA Slow Fast Whatever. Too long of a name. Honestly, I'd never remember that title. Love this book, Hidden Valley Road. Talked about it a lot. Don't need to talk about it anymore. Then I have this thick ass book, The Warmth of Other Suns. She wrote Cast, which I read many years ago, and I saw this at the bookstore recently. And then I have one, I think this is a memoir. I've had it for a very long time, and I have yet to read it, but I think I'm gonna read it very soon. It's coming. Maybe like a book, book club? Ew, look at my pink fingers. I believe that he is an indigenous man who, I think he gets addicted to drugs, but let me check, make sure. Uh, yeah, he gets addicted to drugs and starts doing petty crime. So, hmm. This is all fine. Over here is fine. Let me put this with like my non-fictions. This is also non-fiction. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> this is like my smart area for like smart people and smart things because I feel like you can like see it better. So when people come into my room, they can look at this and be like, oh, so he's smart like that. So it's gonna be like classics going into non-fiction and then going into memoirs.
perfect. Wait, this is perfect. Stop it right now. It fits perfectly. It fits perfectly, and it looks great. I, re I really like how, that, how it looks. And then I think I'm also here. Look, look at this. What is smarter than uh, classics uh, of nonfiction and memoirs? What is the one thing that you're like, oh wait, how can you top that off? Like to optimize the smart slay. Poetry, idiot. And that's how you do that. Even though you can't see it. <laughs> and then I don't know how else, like I, it doesn't matter from here, I feel like. Okay, cue the cue the before again. The problem with this is like nothing changed. Like I didn't even dust. Like a before and after is usually something changes, but all I did was like rearrange it, so it's not. Let's move the saw rock map again. So at the bottom we have just like fiction on this pile. And then we have more fiction. And then it just goes into even more fiction. But then it ends with like surrealism fantasy stuff. How's how do how do you think about that? And over here I think it's like more fiction, I guess. I don't know. But then it goes into like horror thrillers. And you're like, what? But then it goes into historical fiction and then you're even more like, huh? And then it ends with some random like essays, pretty much. But then here's the, mo here's the money making pile. Plays, nonfiction, nothing changed here. So I don't know why. But then over here, you get, you get to, oh, you get to about, you get to hear the word that you, you, feel, you start feeling the ground shake beneath you. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? You get to hear. You get to hear, and everything changes. Everything changes. And it's just a whole bunch of nonfiction up to this point when it becomes memoirs. But then it turns into a little bit of poetry. And you think to yourself, this boy got to have my babies. Well, how do I inseminate him? Okay, bye. Oh, this is about zombies in Haiti. That's a good name. That's a good name for a song. Zombies in Haiti. Wait, what is this? I think this might be nonfiction. Are zombies real? Yeah!